you probably don't need to hear my voiceover to know that this is Prague. Unless you live here, this is probably all you ever see of Prague. And all you ever hear is that we've got cheap beer and maybe a warning to stay away from the exchange offices which charge exorbitant fees. But Prague, like Paris, like Amsterdam, like Barcelona, is a real city where real people live. And we don't do a lot of this. Okay, sometimes we do. But not nearly as much as you see on YouTube. So today, I'm taking you to my Prague. Because frankly, you're missing all the good stuff. Firstly, most Praguers don't live in the center. I live near Namiesti Miru in Vinohrady, which is in Prague too. So Namiesti Miru is kind of the center of my city. Secondly, spring in Prague is not what you think. At least the weather's not. The Czechs call it Aprilove Pochasi, which means April Fool's weather, which basically means the weather can change on you in a moment's notice. One minute it's snowing, and the next minute it's raining, and then it dries up, but the wind's blowing really heavy. And oh look, the sun's coming out. Oh, no, it's snowing again. April Fools! I am not amused. But before we get out onto the streets of Prague, which I do every day, regardless of the weather, I need to take a Czech language lesson, which I do from the comfort of my own home. And that's why I'm a proud ambassador of italki. So why do I like taking Czech language lessons on italki? Because I'm really busy, and my schedule changes every day, and I can't always go to a typical classroom schedule of a language course. Sometimes I don't have time for general conversation about family or travel. I need to know how to give a Czech presentation that I'm gonna do the next day. And the great thing about italki is that my teachers focus my lessons to the topics I need to talk about, so I can get the most value out of the lesson. Signing up for italki is free. You can click the link below and put in your preferences, and then italki will help find the right teacher for you. Let's choose a category. Ooh, business etiquette, very helpful. And I love this because I not only get a language lesson, I get a lesson in cultural etiquette that I can use in my next business meeting. That's the best part about italki. I get to speak with actual native speakers, so I get a cultural lesson too. And some of these lessons start as low as five euros. Did you know that speaking a second language can improve your salary 10 to 15%? and greatly increases your chances of passing the Czech citizenship test, which I recently did thanks to the help of these teachers. Right now, viewers of Dream Prague get a five euro discount when purchasing a 10 euro lesson when you use the code DREAM5. The offer is only valid for the first lesson and only until the 1st of May, so don't delay. This coupon is valid no matter what language you wanna learn. So if you wanna boost your career, sign up at the link below. That way, italki knows that I sent you and they will help support me so I can make more videos for you. So thank you. But first, coffee. There are so many beautiful cafes in Prague. But why would any of them be open at this godforsaken hour? Espresso machine it is. If I were civilized and a little bit more like a normal European, I would sit at my kitchen table to drink my coffee. But I'm American, and I don't have that kind of time. The key to my fitness routine is getting out of bed before my brain even knows what I'm doing. These days, that means going over to Carlin to CrossFit Meat Factory. They are vegetarian friendly too. I'm usually running late pretty early in the morning so I can jump on the 135 bus and get there in 10 minutes. The trick to CrossFit is not being intimidated by that girl. Or that girl. Or that girl. 
You just gotta go at your own pace and focus on your own improvements. And in a year and a half, I've managed to go from not being able to lift an empty bar over my head to putting a little bit of weight on the bar. So I'll call it progress. But the best part of my workout is when it's over. And instead of taking the bus home, I really like to walk. And it takes about 30 minutes to walk home from car lane. Here is the trick to discovering Prague. You have to get out on the streets and walk, and you have to take a different route home every time you get the chance. After walking the same route for six months, I finally decided to go up these stairs and see where they took me. It's not beautiful in that classic Prague way, but it's colorful and interesting, and I feel like I'm getting a view of multiple areas of Prague at once. Welcome to my home office. Sometimes I work here, sometimes here, and often here. And when's this post? Um, the 5th of April. Sometimes I even take over the living room to film. I've been working at home since before the pandemic, and I think if there's one thing we've all realized is that working around people is nice. So Hansa and I typically hold our writer's room meetings at New Beer Pub down the street over a Zesty Zihovets or a Matushka. Many a ridiculous dream prog sketch has been conceived of right at this table. My production assistant, who's also a good friend of mine, works with me online, but we try to get together as much as we can um, over brunch to kind of go over edits and, and different ideas. I'm toying with the idea of getting a WeWork subscription, just an excuse to get out of my pajamas and go someplace to work. But then I couldn't do this in the middle of the day. It seems like there are new restaurants opening around us all the time. I have a list of places I want to try, not to mention all of our old favorites that we never have enough time to go to. But this month, we've really been cooking a lot at home. And by we, I mean Hansa, who is an excellent cook. And I'm happy to be his line cook and cutter of vegetables. Grocery shopping in the denser part of Prague's can seem a little bit annoying because you have to go to several different shops to get what you need. The cheese shop, the wine shop, the bread, the, the mini mart. Um, but in reality, they're so close together that it's almost less walking than if you drove to a Walmart in America and got everything there. There are multiple football teams in Prague, but pretty early on, Hansa decided that Slavia was our team. It's also down the street. And on this night, Slavia was playing cross-neighborhood rivals, the Bohemians, in the cup semifinal. And man, are we glad that we went to see the game live. Hold up, it's two degrees outside. We're gonna have to fill our bellies with some hot ramen first. Hansa and I did a little jig when we saw that a new ramen shop was opening right at Namaste Miro, and Bon does not disappoint. One 
of the nice things about going to a Czech sporting event is that they don't try to gouge you with the price of refreshments. Beers at this game were under three euros. And they served me hot wine in a sippy cup. Slavia came very close to letting it slip through their fingers, but then they tied up in the 97th minute and then won in overtime. It was insane. I used to be alarmed by the pyrotechnics at Czech sporting events. But I'm getting used to it. When I first arrived in Prague and I was teaching English, I also wanted to train as a tour guide. I thought this would be so cool to explain to foreigners all about the monuments and the history, kind of like what I do on this channel. But then I decided that I didn't want Old Town Square to be my office because inevitably it just becomes a task, a job, and it loses some of its magic. So now on the rare occasions that I do go to Old Town Square, it still feels magical. It's a good looking clock. But today, Old Town Square is not my destination. We're going just a little bit down the road to the mayor's official residence. Closed to the public, but today, open to us. I think it's here. Apparently, they want to know my opinions of the city. It's hard to believe that 11 years ago, I arrived in this city starry-eyed and barely able to greet anyone in the local language. No biggie, you know, the mayor's residence, casual. And now the mayor's office is calling and asking me to be an ambassador to this city. I'll be sure to let you know when that video comes out, so don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. And give this video a like because when you do, you help others discover it and learn about Prague and this country. If you liked this style of video and want to see more of Prague, let me know in the comments below. Uvidíme se příště. Ahoj.